Welcome back troglodytes to Would You Rock or Not? Today we're looking at a sparkly purple Gibson SG Supra. Now if you're not familiar with what a Supra is, it's basically like a high-end SG, kind of like a custom. There's also one called the SG Supreme, as well as a Les Paul Supreme that you might be a little bit more familiar with. This is what an SG Supreme looks like. It has the split diamond inlays like you'd find on a Trini Lopez, and it has the custom emblem on the headstock like you'd find on a Les Paul or SG Custom. As you can see, this model has a beautiful two-piece flamed maple top, but the back of this guitar is pretty much the same as any other SG. Now you wouldn't be able to tell it from this particular example, but the SG Supra actually has a two-piece flame top and similar to a Les Paul Supreme, it also has the back that is flamed. So that makes these Supras very interesting guitars. If that wasn't enough for you, these actually have a unique piezo system built into their bridge. If you're not familiar with what a piezo system is, it's basically an acoustic pickup. It makes your electric guitar sound kind of like an acoustic guitar. If you're interested in hearing how a piezo pickup sounds, feel free to check this video out. This is the Chad Kruger frontman of Nickelback's signature Gibson. Personally, I don't think a piezo sounds fantastic on an electric guitar. However, if you're in a gigging situation, I could see how a piezo could be helpful. This way, you don't have to bring along an electric acoustic as well as your electric guitar. The other difference between the Supra and Supreme is the Supra has the Super 400 inlays, and their headstock emblem is not the custom block. It looks like the world that's wrapped in a banner that says Supra. But all of that is not why I'm featuring this particular guitar. This thing has an explosive finish. But this guitar has a sparkle purple finish all over it. It has it on the front of the body. It has it on the back of the body. It even has it on the back of the neck. The whole guitar is sparkle purple. You'll definitely stand out if you're playing this guitar on stage. However, I almost feel like this doesn't belong on a Supra. I mean, the whole point of buying a Supra is you have the super flame top and the super flamed back. So covering all that with a sparkle paint job, I'm not sure if that was the best move on the seller and or Gibson's part. Now Gibson has done quite a few sparkle finishes that I've seen on SG Customs. Like we have this green one right here. We have a silver sparkle here. We kind of have a skyburst sparkle there. And here's an iguana burst with sparkle. In fact, I almost bought one of these things for a full review, but somebody beat me at the last second. This auction had been going on for like multiple listings because they had a reserve that just kept not being met. You can see I put a $2,000 bid in there, but was beat out at the end. I'm not too sad though, I think $2,000 was a little bit much, I just thought it'd be a fun one to review. The only question left, would you rock a sparkle purple SG Supra or not? Leave your answers down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.